Good evening. Law and order redundancy, regularly scheduled for this time, will be preempted tonight for a special thoroughbred horse racing event, the Live or Die Derby, at Odorama Racetrack in lovely Bayonne, New Jersey. Hello and welcome to the inaugural running of the Live or Die Derby, sponsored by Sleek Bodies. I am Bob Naaman. This is a unique horse race where the winners are given life on the farm and the losers will be the dinner at the farm. With me for this historic race is Reigns Saddlesaw, a 58-year veteran of racing at Chlamydia Downs in Manure, Mississippi. Thanks, Bob. I was honored when you called and asked me to be with you today. Well, what a day and what a field of horses. But the big news is about the horses that aren't going to the gate for the race of their lives. Yes, Reigns. There were several horses that were expected to run. But, well, they, they aren't here. Yes. First, there was Cavity. He had to be pulled yesterday. Then today, one of the favorites, Dermatitis, who was itching to run, was scratched. Both horses have already committed suicide, and we send condolences to their owners. In addition, another horse, Dementia, was invited to the race, but on last report, he was wandering through the Lincoln Tunnel. Why, we don't know. Well, we probably won't hear from him again, even with the equine alert that we sent out. But we do have a great, uh, good, a big field for the remaining for this race. So let's give you the field for this historic race. In the one post is Depression. The horse has shown some early speed, but tends to slow down and cries for no apparent reason. The two horse is Constipation, but he hasn't had a good run in years. Hemorrhoids has been out of sight for a while, but his, he has issues that seem to pop up on occasion. The four is interesting, Bob. Schizophrenia. Well, she's had an uneven year. It's almost as if she hears voices while she runs. I don't expect much from her today. The five, Flatulence, is a long shot with early speed, even though he finished fifth in the Cut the Cheese Handicap. His stinky performance in the Smelderella Stakes is a real big negative. What can you say about the six horse, Emphysema? She doesn't have a whisper of a chance in this one. The seven horse has a lot of betting action. Rhinoplasty. And she looks like she could smell the finish line. Angioplasty, the eight, has shown some speed. But to me, he lacks the heart of a winner. I would stay away. Now there's the nine. Diarrhea. She runs in spurts and is constantly running. Glaucoma, the 10, hasn't seen the winner's circle in five years. Mm. And so with that cloudy history, you shouldn't be looking at this one. Attention Deficit, the 11 horse, actually won a race last year, but he was disqualified when the urine turned up Ritalin in his system. He's back to try to win without the juice. I would also pass on the 12, claustrophobia. He always seems to feel closed in and uncomfortable when he gets to the gate. Uh, oh wait, there's, there's another scratch. The 13 urine town has been eliminated and the jockey Alejandro Alejandro is really pissed. Well, Stenosis, the 14, will have a little more space. He is the current favorite. He has been running every month and has been in many, many tight spots without a win. Hypodermic, the 15, has a little speed, but most people think she doesn't have a shot. In 16, sleep apnea. No. Sorry about that, Bob. Uh, there's a restless horse that has masked his talent. I would say he could be a sleeper. The 17, erectile dysfunction, has a great history, but recently hasn't been able to get it up and to the leaders and stay in contention. And finally, with the scratch of urine town, I see the stewards have added diabetes to sweeten the field in the 18 post. He has much energy, but gets lethargic at times. Well, the horses will be coming to the starting gate, but before our own Bob Nahum calls the race, we have a word from our sponsor, Sleep Bodies.
Excuse me. I'm sorry to scare you, but you a fat schlub enough? When you walk down the street, do people have to make room for you? Would you like to be as fit and as trim as a racehorse? Yes. Would you like to wear whatever you wanted? Yes. Well, I'm glad you said that because you know what we have for you? What? Sleep bodies. What sleep bodies is, it's a way of life. It's based on a horse's regimen. Horses eat hay and they eat barley. Makes sense. Exactly. After you eat the hay, the barley, you will gallop around our beautiful track that we have at each facility. And once you have the last lap, you will eat a little bit more barley and a little bit more hay, but the only problem is you crap like a racehorse! But you know what happens? What? After two weeks, you don't want any more food. Wow, this sounds like something I could really do. Can my friends do it too? Yes, and now is the time to take advantage of that because for two whole days, you get to eat all the hay and all the barley you want, and we feel you will come back to Sleep Bodies, the alternative lifestyle. Thank you. Like all life-changing programs, you run the risk of orthopedic problems, infections, using your foot to count, growing a mane, and attracting flies. The contract is a minimum 20-year commitment and is non-transferable. Please consult with your physician or a local veterinarian before starting this program. Bob, the horses are moving into the starting gate. 17 horses ready to run for their lives. Oh, I heard a gun go off by the barn. Looks like that was the errand town being flushed away. I see that number 17 horse of erectile dysfunction can't get up to the gate, and the handlers are push it as hard as they can, but he can't get in. Claustrophobia, as we feared, won't go into the gate, so bye-bye claustrophobia. Wow, look like we have two leg scratches as both horses are led to the side and back to the barn. That was hard to see. E.D. had a big follower and could have handled a stiff competition. Well, the 15 horses are in the gate, and they are off at the Liver Die Derby. That's flatulence, put it on the gas. Take the early lead, with diarrhea squeezing into second. Diabetes third on the rail, stenosis fourth, schizophrenia on the outside fifth, rhinoplasty finds a clear passage to six. Sleep apnea, looking a bit groggy, barely holding seventh, and hypodermic shoots into eighth. Wow, there's a mess behind them. Depression just about walked out of the gate with his head hanging, while constipation got stuck behind a wheeze and emphysema at the start, and both are out of it. They're in the first turn, and it's still flatulent showing the way. Schizophrenia moving up quickly. Uh, no, now moving back. N no, now going up, taking the lead. Now moving back. She seems confused and has fallen behind the pack. Diabetes moves into second with rhinoplasty right beside him, nose to nose. Stenosis tries to squeeze in between them. Sleep apnea is right behind them with diarrhea still in the running. With gusto, hypodermic hemorrhoids, glaucoma, and attention deficit round out the rest of the field, but sit well behind the lead pack as schizophrenia falls behind them all. The field has reached the half mile pole. Look, Bob. Hemorrhoids is one like my Aunt Martha after a Franks and Beans dinner and has fallen back. And oh no, Glaucomac didn't see the turn and flew over the fence. Hyperdermic got pinned against the rail and I can't find attention deficit. Oh, there he is. Oh God, he stopped to eat some flowers on the side of the track. What the hell kind of a race? Hey, he around the far turn and flatulence has given way. He's apparently out of gas. Diabetes is also out of energy, leaving the top spot to rhinoplasty and stenosis battling for the lead. Here comes an awakened sleep apnea, passing diarrhea as we head into the stretch. Diabetes looked like a sweet pet when he was a late entry. Coming to the finish line, it's stenosis, rhinoplasty, and sleep apnea, all three across the track. 
a hundred yards to go. Stenosis in the middle being pressured by rhinoplasty on the outside and sleep apnea on the inside. 20 yards left and they're coming to the wire. It's rhinoplasty by a nose to win the live or die derby. Looks like sleep apnea held off stenosis for second. The rest of the field are escaping over the fence in a backstretch with McDonald's, Burger King and Wendy Butchers chasing after them. Oh, what a day. Well, if you like this kind of excitement, plan to be here for next week's Gambler's Derby with favorite Holy Craps, Russian Roulette, and Jack Ace. Till then, I'd like to say thank you to my sidekick, Reigns. Reigns, it was a pleasure, and back to manure you go. It was a real pleasure to be here, Bob. Stay well, everybody, and get sleep.